Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer for Four. So, today, guys, we're doing a Vila Real versus Barcelona preview, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about the insights leading up to this game, talk about both teams' form, and then give you guys the expected lines for both teams, and of course, give you guys a prediction towards the end. So, let's go ahead and get started with the timeline here. Let's actually start with the stats first. So, Barcelona's expected to win is going to be 53%, draws 24%, and Vila Real is win is 23%. So timeline, after three consecutive wins against Barcelona La Liga between 2007 and 2008, Villarreal have only won one of the last 27 matches against the Blargana side in the top flight. Draw six, lost 20, a 2-0 in May 2022. Barcelona collected points in each of the last 13 visits to Villarreal and La Liga, win nine, draw four, including the last, winning the each of the last three since the 3-1 defeat October 2007, a game in which the current Barca Xavi Hernandez appeared. Interesting. Barcelona are unbeaten in their last 10 away games against sides from Comunidad, Valencia, and La Liga, winning nine of them including each of the last five. This is the longest winning run away from home against such opposition and competition. Villarreal have lost the last two matches La Liga, last losing three in their bounce in March 2020 under Javier Calleja. Barcelona won their last seven games in all competition, keeping a clean sheet. Five of them, they lost one eight on the bounce in October 2017. Guys, Villarreal coming to this game in kind of a bad form right now. As you guys can see right now, the table, they're currently seventh right now. And they're lo they're losing to teams that you probably don't expect them to lose, especially the likes of... You know, Rayo Valcano and LJ. Now, to be fair, Rayo is a good team, guys. I, I will have to pay my respect for them. They are a good team. Um, they will definitely stay up. And who knows? They might get European football. But, um, you know, especially losing to LJ, man. Like, come on. Like, last place team in the league. That's that's not great, you know. And I'm looking at the next couple of games for Villarreal. And that they have Mallorca away. Then they got Getafe. Then Al Almeria away. So, because... Let's be real. It's going to be difficult to, for them to get anything against Barcelona, right? You know, and they have to win. Like, that Mallorca game is going to be tricky. Getafe, they should win, and Almeria. These two games, they have to win. Mallorca, I'd say they also should win, but, you know, Mallorca away is very difficult, guys. It's not easy to play Mallorca away. Anyways, getting back to this game in particular, I just think it's going to be interesting to see how Villarreal do. And looking at their expected 11, this is the 11 that we expect to see. So, as you guys can see, injuries-wise, Nicholas Jackson is out, Giovanni Lo Celso is out, and Alf Alfonso Pedraza is out. And coming into this game, win, Villarreal's got one win, Barca 20 wins, and four draws. So, interesting. You can see the 11 that we expect to see. We can see Reyna, um, then we're going to see... Alberto Moreno, I think it's called. Yeah, Alberto Moreno at the left-back position. And then, obviously, we're going to see Paul Torres, Albio, Juan Foy, Menea, Perreau, Capoja, Morales, Pino, and Chacuizzi. I think the big, big doubt is going to be Gerard Moreno because I heard he's rumorly injured. And he's a big, big presence, for obviously, for Villarreal. As for Barcelona, we're coming to this game in stellar form. Obviously, Barca coming off the win over Sevilla, 3-0 win. Over Sevilla. Now, my question to Javi is that is he going to have the United game in the back of his head? Because obviously, we're going to be playing United midweek on Thursday. And so, is he going to have that game back of his head? Okay, are we going to rotate for that game? And personally, I don't think we should because even though Villarreal comes into this game in bad form, they still are a quality team and they're still a very difficult team to play against, especially knowing the type of football they play. They like to play counter attacking football. And they did beat Real Madrid earlier this season. Of course, they have Kike Setien. Let's not forget this, guys. Setien wants to prove a point against Barcelona. You know, he, he wants to get a statement and show that, hey, you guys made a mistake in firing me, right? Although I do think it was justified. But, you know, the point is, right, there's going to be some motivation for Villarreal, not just for their sake, but also for Setien's sake as well. So I, I don't really think this is a game we should take for granted, of course, you know. And I just think that for me, I'm looking at the Barca 11, and we need to win this game. We need to win this game. We need to keep this winning form because Real Madrid, we could potentially go 11 points clear, because obviously Real Madrid are we playing later today in the Club World Cup final. And so we could potentially go 11 points clear today. Now, obviously, Real Madrid will have that game in hand. I'm not saying they wouldn't, but I'm just saying that's going to be interesting. And yeah, oh, wow, Real Betis, um, it's level, I think, Almeria. So Real Betis, Almeria is currently playing right now as we speak. But anyways, I just think that for me, it's very, very interesting. And I, I want to see if Rafinha can continue his goal scoring form and Lewandowski can keep scoring. Okay, you know, Gavi and Pedri as well. All right, score prediction, guys. Score prediction, score prediction. It's a difficult game. It's a difficult, difficult game to call, but I'm going to give Barca a slight edge here, and I think we're going to narrowly win this two goals to one. I just think that Barca coming into this game are in great form. Um, I could see Villarreal cause an upset, maybe even a draw, or even beat Barcelona for that matter, because I do feel as so, though that we're going to draw points sometime soon in La Liga. I just don't know when, and this could be the game we draw points. I don't think we will, but I wouldn't be surprised. So, 
I'm going to go with the 2-1 win regardless. I think we're going to win the game anyway. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see. So I want you guys to stay tuned for my match reaction, which will be coming out tomorrow, guys, right after the match, guys, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, guys. So make sure you guys turn the notification bell on and subscribe to the channel to get notified. And we'll discuss this game live, what happens, okay, guys? So it's going to be very, very interesting. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. If you're new out here, considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.